Hello, my friend. You tell me you struggle with irritability, especially in the mornings when you get up early and you have to look after your two children and make breakfast for everybody. And then they become uncooperative and they faff about with their socks and their school bags. And you find yourself not quite losing your temper, but nevertheless become grumpy and irritable and take a tone that you regret afterwards. Well, that, my friend, is a clear sign that you're overstretched and that you need to make more room for yourself because irritability is a symptom of you being full of woes and trying really hard, but feeling that it's not getting you anywhere. So it's frustration, but it's also about feeling that you are entitled to a better situation and that you should maybe have more support or people should be a bit more considerate for you in all the effort you are making. So it speaks loudly about underlying resentments that you are not dealing with. You are just swallowing your pride and you're keeping going and your frustration comes out between the cracks of your smiles and your hard work in irritation. So when you feel this irritable, stop. Take a deep breath and ask yourself what change in attitude and what better attention to your needs and what greater self-respect will allow you to find that pause for thought, especially when you're stressed and pressed, especially when you're under pressure. You need to pause for thought and make room for yourself again. And when you make room for yourself, you will see how unhelpful your frustration and irritability are. And you already know that anyway. And you will stop blaming it on other people and start thinking about the way you can restructure things in your life, especially on those busy mornings so that there is enough space and enough time for everyone to do what they need to do in a good mood rather than under the glaring eye of a frustrated person. So think about how you can restructure your life, my friend, to get what you need and to make sure you pass on to your children an example of dealing with problems and taking responsibility for moods instead of teaching them that you are a scratchy person who they should be wary of because you don't want that to happen do you because that's not who you are irritability is not who you are it's just something that happens to you when you're stressed and you're not taking yourself seriously and not structuring your life to suit you properly. So that needs some thought and probably some conversations in the family. All the best with that, my friend. Take care and find your goodwill back in those circumstances. It's worth it.